Hi, welcome to the Soup Factory Season 2. I'm Tom Finn. I'm Bonita. And I'm Mel. Yeah, Season 2, I mean, if you thought last season blew your mind, this season is just going to top that. I know you don't think it's possible, but we're here to tell you that it is. Bonita, what do we got this show? This semester, for the show of Soup Factory, we can, we're going to have a lot of cooking segments. We're going to have sports segments, a fashion segment. And we're, just, we're always going to have our news stories, our gossip stories. And we're definitely going to have the hot topics. I feel like last semester that really made it spicy. Yeah. So let's try to <laughs> nice <and spicy. laughs> let's try to have that for every show. Um, so today we're going to start off with some news stories. And the first news story um, is actually about a school here in New York. It's an elementary school. It's the, Benjam the Benjamin Coaster Elementary School. Um, they found a bag of heroin in the bathroom. It's actually it's a co-ed bathroom. So... It's teachers, students, guys and girls, obviously, go in this bathroom. But this is their second time finding a bag of heroin in this bathroom, which is a little fishy. It could either be a student or a teacher. So now they're deciding to put cameras, like, right above, like, the bathroom doors to see who's doing drugs, I guess, in this school. Um, now they're actually making some of the professors take a drug test. But a lot of them are bringing in lawyers because they don't want to take a drug. Gosh. That doesn't make any sense to me how they don't want to do the urine test because if you're not doing drugs, then you shouldn't have a problem with it. But a lot of them are just bringing in their lawyers because they don't want to do it. I think this is really scary, though, like that heroin is bring, it's yeah. like coming back. It's a pretty common stereotype with fourth graders and heroin. <laughs> it's a little scary. I've always been doing it ever since I was in school. It's not easy growing up on Long Island oh with the influences of heroin <laughs> going on. I feel like heroin hasn't been heard of in a long time. Yeah, though. this is like 1970s. This is Definitely. something hardcore. I hear gritty. more like marijuana or cocaine. I get it. Yeah. But heroin is like I'm a little scared, especially in elementary school. I can't imagine my niece yeah, being around that stuff. I mean, yeah. you gotta admit though, the guy was whoever it is. I don't want to say guy or girl, but they're pretty smart. They know that ca uh, cameras aren't in the bathroom. Yeah. So if you're gonna do it, I mean that's the perfect place. Not yeah. advising that you should. I always, wrong. I always like, do yeah, my go for it in the bathroom. Yeah, yeah. why not, right? <laughs> that's where I the do it. Place. That's where Tom goes most of the time, you know. They can't catch you, which is key. <laughs> but this key. is definitely scary. This is around the na like around the neighborhood, you know, and it's not. It's too threatening. Far from it. It's it threatening to teenagers. It's and pretty serious, like childhood. this. It's concerning to the public, and something equally concerning to the public <laughs> is the snow. Jesus, no. And I don't know if you guys know this, but this has been the snowiest February <laughs> ever. Uh, well, no, no, this, this, I'm sorry. This is the second snowiest February ever. Um, the average snow per a winter is 27 inches, and so far we've gotten 57, which is just outrageous. And what, what, we have four snow days so far? I what feel like means. I haven't even been here for an entire semester. I know. And we, what, like four weeks We're in? almost... Well, almost because I had a waypoint and pretty much no I school. I don't even know the <laughs> names of my professors. <laughs> I don't even know what class I'm in. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I'm in the class maybe twice. <laughs> it feels like it's been a little crazy though. The snow and the driving and even then, like I was in the city yesterday to get my car in a parking. It was not normal. Like you have to really, really yeah. push through. And Everybody seems to drive terribly in the snow. Even if it's like a little inch, they're like just sliding everywhere. <laughs> If I can do it, I'll still text and drive. It's fine. Don't even worry about it. There were actually a, a couple of accidents this morning, too. My professor came in. She came in a little late. She apologized, of course, but then she kind of said, oh, it was like three accidents, which I didn't believe. But, you know, she's a teacher. She has no yeah. reason to lie. So. Yeah. I'm a couple of lying teachers. So <laughs> just to <laughs> save their asses. Benj. Off the record. Completely off the record. They want Kathy. <laughs> Obama. <laughs> I didn't know Obama was a teacher, but uh, speaking of <laughs> teachers, back in Springfield, uh, Missouri, there was actually a middle school football teacher who killed a 10-year-old girl. Her name was Haley Owens. Uh, it, just a quick recap, what happened was she was walking home from a friend's house in the evening. A pickup truck kind of rolled by next to her and asked her for directions. Of course, she was a smart 10-year-old girl. She kept on walking, ignored the guy. And then the guy kind of yelled at her, like, come here. She turned back around out of the kindness of her heart. And um, she refused once again, didn't give the, the address or anything, no details. And he kind of just snatched her and threw her in a truck like she was oh a doll. 
All while this is going on, there's like neighbors across the lawn. They watch everything. They didn't even realize that the football um, coach didn't see them. So it was kind of scary. And then at the end of the day, they ended up chasing the football coach, so they didn't quite catch up to him. They said that four or five cars were um, in between. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. Because, I mean, if you kind of see that right in front of your face, there's no reason why it's – so you're freezing. Yeah. You're supposed to kind of react, you know? Especially a teacher did that or a coach. Right. Well, I mean, they weren't even from the same school. They were totally different schools. But it's just scary. Like, you see something going happening right in front of your eyes, and the way that you react is just – you just saw a drop and nothing, no actions, no nothing. They could have saved this girl's life at the end of the day. That's the way I feel, but, I mean – I'm not here to judge anybody. That's, you know, it's just sad to me, in my opinion. Weird yeah. Like today, um, in one of our classes, we were doing this social experiment, and my friend actually, she laid flat on the floor during uh, Hillwood, which is one of our big buildings or whatever, where we have lunch and all the stuff. And only a few of the students actually react. It got to a point where me and Bonita ran up to the girl thinking that she actually passed, uh, passed, passed out. out. And then she yeah. was just, she's like, oh, this is just a, she's a great just actor. an experiment. We was like, okay, yeah, thanks. Oh, well, well, but I it was to sad to see that nobody <laughs> actually <laughs> moved. I was so scared. Yeah. <laughs> Heart pounding really? and all that. I was like, wow. It really never ran. It was hilarious. Yeah. You did good, Natalie. You did good. <laughs> that, was, that was a good one. That was Nothing a good one. fooled us. That's sick. But it is crazy how only a few people, we were talking about this um, earlier, too. I have some family over from the Dominican Republic, and they're saying how, They've seen a couple people fall in the snow or, like, they see different things happening around and people just keep walking, like, eh, I'm not going to help out, you know? Where, the, like, that should not happen. You know, something, if you see someone going through something, like, you should participate to help yeah. them. Whereas, she's like, my cousin from Dominican Republic was like, in New York, I feel like everyone's, like, afraid to help each other. And it's true, if you got a couple bad reactions from, like, people that you help, like, I don't need your help, happen. It is true. When there's, like, a really bad snowstorm, they try to call 311. Um, if you see like someone in the street, like a hobo, a hobo, a hobo, <laughs> and um, and I did, and one of I actually had an argument with a hobo in the city. <laughs> He's like, I don't need your help. I just called 311, and then I felt that's stupid. That's so and I'm like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you you were doing it at, out of the kindness of your heart. Which I did. Really it's it's yeah. like really scary that no one wants to be helped. So it's like, sorry, I'll try to help you. New York's lifestyle. New York for you. <laughs> like a lot of Hillary Clinton. <laughs> <laughs> you jerk. Oh, now getting into some gossip. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Whoa, gossip. <laughs> I am too oh, excited. Yeah. <laughs> Can't contain it. So Victoria Beckham is talking about boobs on the March issue, the March issue of the Allure, of the Allure magazine. Sorry. Um, so the Allure magazine is like it describes a little bit about how Victoria Beckham decided to take her breast implants out, which is why she decided to talk about her boobs. Is the topic of the Allure magazine. Good for her. You know, good I'm for not her. sure how I feel about it. I think she looks very, very sexy, pretty, like with her breast implants. But she said that she really got the support from her husband, David Beckham. Um, that he told her she looks perfectly fine without her, her breast implants. She also went back to her friends from Spice Girls. Every time they interview her, they always get into the Spice Girl topic. But um, she decided to speak to them and her husband before even doing this, she said but that she feels very confident more than ever. I don't know if it's because of, you know, now she's married, her kids, like her family, all she's all good now. But I think, I don't know, I like her better with her expression. I, I wonder how that think. conversation went with you and Becca. Like, <laughs> what do you think? What, do you think I need boobs? <laughs> no! No, you don't even know. You look fine without them. I don't even like them. I don't even use them. I love you. <laughs> like, I love yeah. you. You, not Just them. the way you yeah, are. Just the way you are. Great poker face. She said that he's a wonderful man and he's the best man she's ever met. He's a wonderful father and he's incredibly talented. That she he always supports her, she said in the magazine. That's but great. Let's just hope he doesn't get tired. Poor guy. With all your implants, Victoria Beckham. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's a bit dangerous pretty, there. Pretty bad for, for David Beckham, but it's actually going pretty well for Jimmy Fallon. Yes, it is. Also <laughs> a famous person. Great transition, Tom. <laughs> <And> <laughs> Jimmy Fallon just got the Tonight Show. He took over for Jay Leno. So that's a pretty big deal, you know? Yeah, this is the first time it's been in New York in like 40 years. Wow. It was you know, Mount Leaf, I believe, if I recall. NBC and it's free tickets. Um, 
Wow, Michelle Obama is going to be on it this week, the first lady, so that should be fun. He gets really good people like to yeah. get like good interviews, which is awesome. Yeah, he always he always has like a new idea of how to make something funny. He did uh, the history of hip hop dancing with Will Smith. That was the first episode that that was just that hilarious. was funny. A lot of people went out to support too, like the all, like Kim Kardashian, the stuff. A couple Kardashian, like celebrities Steven went out Kardashian, to support. Yeah, yeah. Which a lot of awesome. people. Are usually, he's a very loved person, I guess. You know. How do you guys feel about the fact that he's like one of the youngest people to do the Tonight Show? It's a bit strange, I feel. I mean, it's, whole it's always been like you know Johnny Carson or or Jay Leno, so it's it's Ryan, weird. It's, it's yeah. Like, yeah, so it's it's I'd say it's, it's a different. But I think it could l he could lose some of like the older crowd, which always stuck to like Leno. Yeah, and he could also gain a lot of young viewers, which I think is great because I feel like more people our age should be watching mm -hmm. the Tonight Show because it's not only it's it's always like a lot of important news and things that are going on around the world. Plus, it's really fun and funny. I think it's a great show to watch. I've always enjoyed it. So. Yeah. It, it is a great show. The only thing behind that is kind of um, older people believe that the more years you have experience. Ex of experience, mm -hmm. the more credibility you have to your name. So they'll enjoy watching uh, Leno, for example, better than yeah. Jimmy Fallon because he's a young guy. But I always believe that the young guy should always get a shot. Yeah. I mean, if the show doesn't go well or whatever a year from now, then that's some that's a different topic. But as of right now, I think he should he deserves a chance. So I'm pretty happy for that guy. Plus, like the older like hosts have like more of those like older jokes, the classic jokes which older people would enjoy. Where I think These old people. <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> Jimmy Fallon's like very new. Like his yeah. jokes are very new. I think which older people wouldn't understand. It's like more dry humor. But let's see. Hopefully he does well. I think he will. Yeah, there's something new, you know. I'll something we're fresh. All for it. Definitely. Something fresh. Let's talk about fresh. Okay, so mm -hmm. you guys know Charlie Sheen. You know he's one hell of a character. I mean, the guy's crazy. He's getting married to a porn star <laughs> named Brett Rossi. Wow. I'm Do you guys know how she looks? Any image of her I've at all? I've seen her. I mean, she's a very pretty person. Okay. Person. But I feel person. like. <laughs> the whole fact that she's a porn star, that'd be like a pretty big red flag for me. But I mean, Charlie Sheen, obviously he doesn't, there's no filter for his women. Mm. Oh, not at all, not at all. But yo, if I had to put a prediction on the marriage, like how long will it be? I'd say, you know, maybe 10 hours, um, if it <laughs> goes well. <laughs> if the honeymoon goes well, we did 10 hours. I can't. No, I, I give it a, a good half a year, maybe six months. I mean, eventually that marriage would end. Someone yeah, it's so someone. creepy. Right. Uh, just the girl running out of moves, you know? Yeah. yeah. Porn star, you can't expect nothing else. He's a good. druggie. She's a porn star. Might work, though. Yeah, that's that's definitely a bad mix. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> Jesus. Well, we will be right back with our hot topic of the day. And don't forget our cooking segment. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. All right, welcome back, guys, to the Soup Factory. Here today we have the Superfly Bonita, <laughs> also one of our lovely hosts. She's cooking up some juices for me. Um, she brought some kale, some strawberries, some cucumber, some celery sticks. If you guys haven't tried those with peanut butter, you should do it because it tastes <laughs> so good, so nutritious. We got some bananas. Did I mention apples? Yeah, we have those, too. We have pineapples, too, which <laughs> is a lovely mix. Now, Bonita, what kind of juices do you like to drink? So me personally, um, as a meal replacement, I like to throw in some celery, cucumber, kale. And because it has kind of a dull taste, I usually throw in some pineapple, but not a lot. I just throw in one piece of pineapple. So that's why I brought in the pineapple. But you can also mix it in with the banana and apples. But I usually have that as my meal replacement. I'll have it for breakfast. Then I'll have you know, something heavier later on. And then when I'm hungry during the day, like during the afternoon, as a snack, I'll have strawberry banana and I'll throw in an apple. An apple a day keeps the doctor away. Remember that, Melinda. I like that. I like that. <laughs> so, but um, a lot of you don't want too much sugar, so you definitely have to be wise when you choose like the um, sorry, the the fruits you're gonna make juices with because if you have like mango or kiwi, these are fruits that have they they contain too much sugar, 
but banana is really good with the protein and apples are really good for you. Strawberries are good because they contain a lot of water. So you could definitely throw that in when you have vegetables. But vegetables are more of my meal replacement. It's not a bad idea. Okay. So we're going to make some juice right now. First, I'm going to start off with the fruity ones. I'm going to make some for everyone in the studio. Okay. Now, I have a question for you because, yes. I mean, I've been dying to get into this whole juicing things. As you can see, I need to lose a couple pounds. But I'm not a vegetable type of person. So it's what vegetables? Taste good. I can't even recommend, like, oh, my God, it's the best tasting thing. Right. But that's why you always have to throw something that does taste good to you. Okay, so if I have, like, kale, celery, I should throw in some I like pineapples? throwing in cucumber, too. Cucumber does not taste that dull. And when okay. things are a little dull, I always throw in, instead of sugar, you can use brown sugar, but I like to throw in honey. Just like a little bit of honey because it gives it that sweet taste. But, you know, you should try to just accustom yourself. That's what okay. it is. It's just practice. It doesn't taste good, but we're going to try it today with the pineapple, which I've never tried. But they say it's a good idea to throw in a piece of pineapple or a piece of apple. So let's see how the vegetables taste together. All right, so this is going to be my first time trying Some this, Some kale. <laughs> Let's do this. Just going in the kale right now, breaking yes. it all up in that wonderful regular blender. Now, Not remember, fancy. guys, I'm using a blender because I don't, I mean, I personally don't mind it. They say it's a lot better to juice. This is also naturally juicing, too, if you think about it. A blender is just blending them together. Um, I'm going to cut it up a little small. So and this is a cucumber going into the cucumber, blender right yeah. now. Are yeah. you going to throw in some celery as well? Yes, I'm going to throw in a little bit more cucumber okay. than anything because it's what gives it a better taste. Remember, so celery cucumber, and kale is not the best tasting vegetables ever, but they're really good for you. And supposedly more than anything, um, it's supposed to really take the fatty, the little cellulite that comes around here. So it's kind of like stomach fat. It's that more, yeah, mean? it makes you go to the bathroom. Sounds okay. silly, but if you really don't have, if it's hard yeah. to go to the bathroom, have some celery. Now I'm going to throw in a piece of pineapple just for that little taste, you know? One. Don't go crazy. So, so since this is my kind of my first time trying this whole vegetable thing, I'm not much of a vegetable person. Let's see if Melina likes it. Is, can I put another piece of pineapple? Not now, but essentially. <laughs> yes, you can. Until I, you know, but fully get accustomed to the whole yep, taste. In the meantime. Okay. Um, All right. So it's not that We're bad. in the studio, so we don't have a lot of, like, water and, like, ice. But you can always throw in ice and, like I said, honey. But because we have the pineapple today, you don't need the honey. The pineapple should give it that, you know, that fruity flavor. Now, sorry. There we go. Okay. Now I have a question for you, now, Bonita. Yes. What's the difference between actually juicing with a juicer and blending things together? Now, I've heard superstitions. It's a big difference. <laughs> I don't know. Um, they say that you kind of lose all the nutrients. I smell that. Mm, it smells like you celery don't. and kale. And you don't lose the nutrients, but it is a lot harder. to Like, when you blend it, mm -hmm. the pieces are a lot bigger. But as you see, it's all still there. It's all natural. Now, the fact that we added some water, you are losing maybe a little bit. The water's okay. not bad for you, you know. Let's give it a little taste. Yummy. She's scared. Uh, cheers to the green. So right now in this cup I have cucumbers, I have kale, I have celery that I really love with some peanut butter, but we don't have the peanut butter right now. Then we have one mm. half a slice of <laughs> pineapple. How does that taste? Delicious. All right, let me try it. <laughs> Maybe some more pineapple. It's good for you. All right, guys, this is so good. <laughs> awesome. You guys should try this, man. We'll be back with our hot topic. Stay tuned. Hi, guys. Welcome back to Soup Factory. Now we have a, our hot topic of the day. Yes. You know what that means? My it's going to get very hot in here. Oh, no. yes. <laughs> so our hot topic of the day is, this is our new semester. For me, my last. Well, for m I mean, most of us. Um, What's up with the new semester? This is like week three already, right? Week yeah, four? Yeah, week four, I think. So let's talk about some goals. What are our plans for this little semester today? I think we should start without 
saying our goals. I think Mother Nature, we should say Mother Nature's goals, which is just to simply stop snowing. Yeah, so we could get yeah. our goals going. So we going. can get our goals going, yeah. right. I'm so tired of these Jesus. Snow. Tom, what are I you cooking you. up? <laughs> My goal this semester. Or plan anything. Um, is to make Soup Factory the best darn show around. You took it right out of my mouth. <laughs> like right out. Brownie <laughs> points. That's brownie points. Boom. Boom. Now Bonita's going to make me a smoothie after this. I because am. Because of that. He deserves it. Yeah, it's going to be <laughs> nice and delicious. I'm actually enjoying one of uh, Bonita's cocktails. Some cucumber kale. What I do. Kale. Some pineapple is really good. Got all my super green foods. Mm. We're going to do this. Sure. We're definitely going to do this. Some of my goals or plans <laughs> is to make Soup Factory a lot better as well. Um, since it's my last semester, basically just get my portfolio, my senior stuff done, and try to make it the best semester I, po like I possibly can. Um, it's already going really great as of week three. My classes are great. Um, I'm with all my friends in my classes, so it's been a lot of fun. But just really get my work done because I'm out of here in May and I'm going to miss it. But not only focus on schoolwork. I know it sounds it's pretty bad to say that, but I want to focus on just enjoying campus. Once the weather gets nice out, be with you guys and yeah. hang out. And if we could go out and eat outside and yeah. focus on just the college experience before I leave here because it's been amazing, but it just went by super fast. So I just want to enjoy it. And... Like I said, Soup Factory, make it the best season before I leave. I think something a lot of people don't notice is that once you leave college, college, those years are gone. They're so you never good. get this same type of atmosphere, the same type of excitement, friendships that you build, bond. You don't get these anywhere. I have uh, some of my coworkers, even my boss says, like, I wish I could go back to college. Mm. College is, like, awesome. You get drunk all day now that we're... <laughs> Saying to get drunk all day, of course. Never, we would never. Right, but it's it's day. celebration. It's <laughs> celebration every day. It know? really is. Yeah. And even our classes, I was joking about it, but it's like not even a joke. It's like we're getting credits for being in these fun classes. Like right. Yeah. These classes are actually great. This is almost a class for us. Like we're getting credits for this, and I'm having the time of my life setting up a show and getting to know my peers over here and just entertaining you guys and learning from it too, of course. Yeah. But not only that, but we have we're going green. So our goals <laughs> obviously are to lose some Literally. weight. Let's Summer's see. Coming, guys. Let's see. We gotta make sure we go back in uh, into shape the way we used to be. Uh, back Fresh when we were like year. two years old, you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no body fat. That's yeah, kind of perfect. Definitely. But um, my plans are my goals. My goals. What's my goal? Um, I want to get an internship once again. This kind of goes back to like our New Year's resolutions. Just remind me of our last yeah. episode. Yeah. 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 Um, well, goals coming up is internships, maybe starting up a new show here at PTV. Um, just trying to get the livelihood from PTV into, like, our commuters, our dormers. I feel like they don't watch PTV enough. And it's maybe because we're not bringing enough exciting shows, but I think this one is pretty... I think we're fun. Yeah. <laughs> so why not? I mean, we deserve a chance, just like Jimmy Fallon, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Definitely get involved, guys. Email us. Um, follow us on Instagram, Soup Factory PTV. That's us on Instagram. And Soup Factory at gmail.com. Email mm -hmm. us for ideas or if you want to participate, if you don't know what to do or, you know, what position to be in, we'll teach you. We'll teach you how to use a camera, audio, anything you want to do. So email us or follow us on Instagram. And definitely stay tuned for next week because we will have another cooking segment, maybe some sports. We're trying to get man on street, so... It's one of us so basically going out, right. interviewing the students in Hillwood yeah. and doing some silly stuff. So it's definitely going to be fun. Definitely going to be funny with Tom and me's interviews. <laughs> <laughs> Never fails. <laughs> um, but definitely stay tuned because we want to have some fashion segments too. So this semester is going to be very interesting. Okay? We're not going to just talk about it. We're actually going to be about it. So just stay tuned, man. You don't want to miss it, honestly speaking. It's going to be a good semester. <laughs> I'm Bonita. I'm Tom. And I'm Mel. Thank you. Thank Bye. you for tuning in, guys. Soup Factory. Woohoo!